I first arrived in UK in Great Britain in early July 1988 as a PhD student on a research scholarship called Sino-British Friendship Scholarship Scheme. That particular scholarship was set up to commemorating the signing of the bilateral agreement between China and Great Britain over Hong Kong. At the time, I think very few parents were encouraged to get into humanities and social science. Those subjects were considered to be politically quite dangerous. I feel that to make a society better, obviously we need science. You know, obviously we need technology, we need money, investment. But above all, we also need journalism. We need the transparency and also we need, we, the, I think the public need to have the rights to be informed about what's going on. When I first arrived in this country, people always ask me, saying, Li Fan, when are you returning to China? You know? Such question now is no longer a kind of issue or question people ask around in London. My English was very poor at that time, so I was very struggling, you know. So I have to improve myself very quickly. I remember in 1993, when I started working as an assistant producer for the BBC, I was told I was the first ever Chinese nationality ever appointed by the BBC with a passport from mainland, you know. So I was, I sort of created a new record. Um, so I was lucky. As part of an award, I spent one month in Tibet and another month in Dharamsara in India. Uh, I tried to see whether someone like myself, a product of both Chinese and Western education, and will be able to see that uh, difficult issues with a more balanced mind. So my interview with the Dalai Lama three times uh, is not only important for me journalistically, but also very important for me as a person. I officially started at the Financial Times in January 2004, following my sabbatical as a visiting professor in Taiwan. I have been the founding editor for ftchinese.com uh, ever since. It is the first time I was given a responsibility and a chance to bring something which is non-existent before you know, to the world and also make sure that uh, it's actually not only you are bringing a product life in Britain but also bring a product back to China which is a very different political and a regulatory environment. It's a lot of hard work, you know. Huge amount of stress against deadline. Now in the age of uh, internet, every minute is a deadline. You know, I think uh, journalists, uh, we're not uh, celebrities. We're there just simply to do a job and uh, to posing questions for the public interest, uh, we play a small part in the making of history.